Buenos dias from San Pedro Sula. I just arrived here by bus from La Ceiba. I'm gonna take first a walk to my hostel, about maybe four kilometers away. I don't have an online, so I cannot check how much it's actually to there, but something around four kilometers should be to my hostel. I'm gonna check in there, and then I'm gonna start exploring this city. Join me for today's adventure. Alright, not a bathroom, not a bathroom, not a bathroom neither. Vikingo. Bueno. So what we have here? Good old suicide shower. If I survive that, I will show you how the San Pedro Sula is. And what about the view? Let's check it out. Nice view of the rooftop. Ah, could be worse. I heard that there is actually some really cool market on the other side of the town, so I'm gonna take a walk there and see what's happening. The elections were already two weeks ago, but still we have all these posters here on the streets. Hola. <laughs> It seems that that was pretty much all the market. It's Sunday and the main building was closed, so that might be the reasons there wasn't so much to see. Let's come over to the center and see what's there. I think the electric wires are not the best thing to eat for a squirrel. And I happened to find food courts. There is carne asada. Si, vale. Uno carne asada. Chorizo? Con rezo. Típica. This would be carne asada, very typical Honduran food. It's beef marinated in a lemon and vinegar and black pepper. I've tried to find it for a long time, but it was the first time I actually got the taste. Mm. I have found this on the last day. It's freaking amazing. So, so are all other under, under our food also. Okay, with the uh, rice, with the uh, dried plantains, some salad, potatoes. Pretty good deal for around two euros. Whew, I'm full. It works as a lunch and as a breakfast. Maybe as a dinner also. Uh -huh. Let's see. Probably I need to get something to eat later today, but for now, I'm totally full. Flaco Mobile, siempre así. Visítalo. Much bigger market here than in the original place. Every direction you go, you can see market. And it's Sunday. It seems that everyone has been gathering here. One week ago, I found one of the best breweries. 
in here in Honduras. So I was thinking maybe I should give it a go to also some other breweries in this country. There should be still open on Sunday, two of them. So I'm gonna pay them a visit, try their beers and see if they are drinkable. Alquimia Cerveceria since 2018 like most of the breweries here. Pretty new ones. Cheers. Mm. Really fruity. Really fruity. Like some citrus in a taste. Actually, this would be the beer that I would take when I go to some park or something, enjoy a really nice summer day. It'd be really refreshing there. Right, brewery number one completed. Brewery number two, here we come. Two and a three and a half kilometers walking. Let's go for a beer. And that's how you cross the street in Honduras. We are finally getting near the place. 30 degrees Celsius. I'm walking almost an hour. I have earned my beer. Maybe even two or three. Brewery, which has five stars and almost 50 reviews in Google, sets up my expectations pretty high. Some are pretty exotic, like a cocoa nitro, I guess, coconut taste in here. Cocoa nitro, I think. Yes, yes. Cheers. I don't taste any coconut. My beers are finished, and the night has fallen here already. We're gonna explore a bit of the night of San Pedro Sula. It seems that in a bigger town in Honduras, when the sun sets, everything closes. It's uh, always a bit riskier to walk outside at night, so no one does it. And that's the reason there's not many restaurants open. Local KFC, but I'm looking for something more authentic. So I just arrived at the Central Park. So I guess if there's one place open still, it's going to be pretty near this park. Not the most authentic Honduran food. Some kind of a market here, but it seems to be closing. I should have been here one hour ago. Hello. Dos. Dos palabras. Gracias. Let's give it a go. Freaking amazing palabras. Once again. For those two paleadas, I paid about one euro twenty cents. Bargain. I've got to say that I actually like this town. Yeah, it may have some risks. It may not be the safest place, but at least. I felt pretty safe in these areas. But maybe it's not so bad for the tourists, mostly between just the gangs. Or I just had good luck. Anyways, I really like this town. And for me, it has been safe. Now it's time for me to say goodbye from San Pedro Sula. See you next time.